Hi folks, Steve the Hurricane here, and on today's episode of A Drink with the Hurricane, we are going to talk about organizational culture, but specifically how your KPIs can be leveraged to drive your organization. So raise your glass and let's toast to your success. Cheers. This is A Drink with the Hurricane, the talk show discussing all things growing your home care business. This video is sponsored by Home Care Evolution, where we help home care agencies adapt to changing circumstances, transform their business so that they can thrive for years to come. So in this day and age, everybody wants to try and empower their team, but how is the best way to do so? One of the best ways to do so is to do as I say, share the numbers because the numbers don't lie. So how can we use our KPIs to drive the culture that we want in our organization? I'm going to turn this over to Kelly Schwed, who's our in-house culture expert, and let her show you how it's done. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Coach's Corner. I'm Coach Kelly, and today I want to talk to you about KPIs. And I want to talk to you about KPIs in terms of culture, the culture of your organization. And that you might be thinking, hmm, KPIs, how does that relate to the culture of our organization? I'm glad you asked. So let's talk about it for just a moment or two, Should, shall we? Um, employees like to know where they stand, right? And so enabling them to understand what the what the organization's KPIs or key performance indicators are, right? So what is that? So if, if anyone on your team is unclear about what a KPI is, that should be the first discussion that you're having. So what are they? They're measurements, right? We use these measurements to look at the progress um, of the goals and, and the operational targets of our organization. So everybody on your team should understand what a KPI is and how it relates to them, right? So choose something important to your team, right? When you're setting a goal, usually when we think of KPIs, we think of revenue, we think of billable hours, we think of um, you know, an end of month, end of quarter, that type of thing. But if you start setting quote, uh, not quote, excuse me, if you start setting goals, right, key performance goals for each for teams and departments, you'll find that they they get excited because they can actually see how their contribution um, really kind of contributes to your organization as a whole. So what you want to do is choose something important to your team and find ways to measure it, right? And then display it somewhere within your organization, whether you put it on a whiteboard, whether it's at the weekly staff meeting, whether, you know, you do something, you know, maybe you you do a pie chart that that maybe you do it in a digital format, whatever works, but you want to do something that you can um, have an opportunity for your team to see it and to engage with it and to make themselves um, feel as though they are a part of the solution or the goal, right? And so we always recommend a SMART goal. What is a SMART goal? S-M-A-R-T. A SMART goal is specific, that's S. M is measurable. A is achievable, right? R is, is relevant. Um, and then T is time stamp, time targeted, right? So what do each of those things mean, right? If I'm setting a specific goal, right, we're setting a measurement that has a specific purpose for the organization. We want to grow this business by 500 weekly billable hours, right? It has to be measurable, right? Able to be converted into numbers and then compare it with the goal of, say, six months ago or last quarter or or last year um so it has to be measurable against your another target it has to be achievable right something that either individually or as a team we can actually come together 
in the time that we have set forth to make this happen, right? So we want to achieve this 500 hour increase in the next 30 days, right? So we want to make it achievable. We want it to be relevant, right? We're going to tie this overall goal to the success of the organization. When we hit that 500 hours and we're able to maintain that 500 hours, we're going to have a team party or everybody gets a bonus or whatever it happens to be, right? And then the time targeted is the values cover a predefined or relevant time period. So what does that mean? Right? Like I said, so in 30 days, we're going to see if we've achieved this goal. And if we have, then, then we are going to set the next goal. But at the same time, we're going to celebrate the success that we've had. So I know we usually look at KPIs in terms of sales and marketing, and that's good. We want to look at quotas. We want to look at profit margins. We want to look at, you know, referrals by referral source or by, by parts of the to territory, so on and so forth. So those are something that's easy. We do that all the time. But if you're thinking about it from an operational standpoint, so maybe the quota is to reduce employee turnover. So think about that. So again, this goes to your culture, right? What are we saying and what are we doing that is retaining talent, that is, you know, attracting talent and then retaining the talent, Right. So, you know, do we do anything like maybe employee satisfaction surveys or personal consultations that would that would give us feedback to see if we're on the right track? Are we hitting that that KPI? Right. We've set a KPI for our our hiring, for our recruiting, for our retention. And then we have to measure that in some way. Right. Are we training our 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 talent or our caregivers or our internal team and what is the return on that investment we put in some some effort to train these people what are we getting in return so you want to kind of take a look at that from that standpoint as well what what is the goal that we're setting forth how are we measuring it and then what is the outcome so think about that so when the next time you guys sit down for your next team meeting you know talk about kpis but talk about how those kpis are are reflective of everyone in the organization, everyone on the team, every department, and see if you can come up with some KPIs that will, will excite and motivate your team to get you to the next level. All right. I hope that was informative and I hope you have a really great day. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye-bye. So there you have it, folks. Kelly did an amazing job there. You know what KPIs to check now and how to leverage them to empower your team. Now, folks, if you like these videos, if you think, you know, man, this is really good, imagine what you're gonna get when you come to our Home Care Evolution Conference and spend three days with me and my team and all of the guest speakers that we have lined up for you. These events will sell out. Do yourself a favor, click the link below and register right now for the next Home Care Evolution Conference so that you can get everything you need to blow away the competition. Steve the Hurricane and I spent three days teaching all these people how to blow away!